Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is TBR Schmidt, and this is my wife Samantha. Hello. And today we are watching The Great Escape. What do you know about this movie? This won our War Patreon poll. So we would like to thank all our patrons for voting for this to win our War Patreon poll. This was suggested a ton when we watched Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Yes, I think specifically because of Steve McQueen. Yes, I haven't seen this film, but my mom loves Steve McQueen <laughs> and she loves this movie. She was really excited when he told her it was on the schedule. So I'm really excited to watch it. Also thinking of Once Upon a Time, I think Leonardo DiCaprio like was superimposed into playing a very famous scene from The Great Escape. Yes. So it, it wasn't just the fact that Steve McQueen was in the movie. It's that Leonardo DiCaprio plays Steve McQueen's part in the movie, I think. I think there's both those. Yeah, yeah. We got to see like a little glimpse of it. Yeah. So from the movie poster, it just looks like people running. <laughs> I mean, it's called The Great Escape, so yeah. they're probably running to escape. They're escaping. <laughs> this has definitely been highly recommended. Obviously, a ton of the recommendations came once we saw Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, uh, recommended from family and friends. So I assume that this is going to be a movie that we're really going to enjoy. So I'm super excited. Yeah, me too. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction for this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on our Twitch, Instagram, or Twitter, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, let's get into the movie. Okay, so they were transporting a bunch of prisoners. Maybe like a trip wire or something? Oh, maybe? I don't know. It's not like it's hidden. No, right? We'll get Cavendish to make a survey. I wish Big X were him. Is that what you think? Either that or he's dead. Yeah, I mean, like they're letting them just walk around. Group Captain Ramsey? Yes. Will you accompany me, please? I'll look after your gear, sir. All right. Is he a prisoner too? They're just treating him differently because he's the captain or something? Eleven escape attempts. He even tried to jump out of the truck coming here. Known to have participated in digging of eleven escape tunnels. Oh. And plays American five, Haynes four, Sedgwick seven. They're all amazing at escaping, but they keep getting caught. <laughs> gardening, we will give you tools. We trust you to use some for gardening. That's a lot of trust. You're a guy that just dug a bunch of tunnels. <laughs> <laughs> and now go away from here. If you steal tools, cooler. You have no tools. Look, he definitely stole something. So everyone here has tried to escape and successfully escaped. Well, I don't think they've all been successful. Right, some of them have been successful and then got caught again. They're not wasting any time though. Russian prisoner, they cut down trees. Cigarettes. Maybe trade some cigarettes with some of the Russians for one of their tools. What are you doing with my coat, mate? That's mine, you little red Oh. Oh shit, this is how he's escaping? He's going out with them? I guess so. Oh man. No more. All right. Get back in your huts. Yes, sir. You too. Okay, so two people are on their way out already. Catch. You got something going already? Blind spot right in the middle. You're crazy. You think so? Well, let's find out right now. Oh, you cross that line, you die. Man, just slipped right in. That wasn't very discreet. <laughs> no. This is supposed to be their Im impenetrable or unescapable fortress. Hey, you speak Russian? A little, but only one sentence. Yeah, boss, Lublu. Yeah, boss, Lublu. What's it mean? <laughs> I love you. <laughs> love you? What bloody good is that? I don't know. I wasn't going to use it myself. <laughs> oh, really? Out! Yet, yet. Tavarich. And who vouches for you, Lieutenant Wielinski? Get out, Sedwick. Damn. So close. Hold it, hold it! Yeah, he's like, don't stab me. Your name? Ives. The photograph doesn't do justice. I'd like to see one of you under similar circumstances. <laughs> yeah. Kicks up. How the fuck do they not see you? Nick Jesus! Nick Jesus! Don't shoot! 
Well, like I told Max here, I was trying to get my gut. Uh oh, everyone wants in. I was trying to cut my way through your wire because I want to get out. <laughs> 17 escape attempts. 18, sir. Tunnel man, engineer. Oh. 10 days isolation hilts. Captain hilts. 20 days. Oh. Oh, uh, you'll still be here when I get out. Cooler. Cooler? I think that's like the worst place to... Be? Yeah. They've said the cooler a couple times. Oh, have they? Cooler Ives. Pleasure. <laughs> is it out? Yeah, Side? the cooler is outside the fence. 20 days in here? Fuck. At least he has a ball to play with. It's gonna drive Ives nuts. I could go through this duct here like the bit on an end of an ogre. It's the shoring up with wood and getting the dirt out. That's what you have to worry about. Oh. What do they call a mole in Scotland? A mole? <laughs> I must say, it's an interesting first 20 minutes. It's like 20 minutes. <laughs> or he tried to escape multiple times. If he wants more falls into our hands, he will not be so lucky. That is why he's returned for the moment to your care. Some uh, internal conflict with him. If you escape again, you will be shot. Heidler! 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 Huh. I feel like this guy doesn't really give a fuck about Hitler too much. I mean, he already said earlier, this ride this out. So he does probably seem like the leader. Right. Hello, Roger. They're this, all excited. This guy? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna cause such a terrible stink in this third Reich of theirs by putting more men out of this. 200, 300, scatter them all over Germany. Damn, just get everyone out? They are the common enemies of everyone who believes in freedom. If the High Command didn't approve of Hitler, then why didn't they throw him out? Merely pointing out a pertinent fact. Yeah, they're probably better off with the High Command versus the Gestapo or SS. But if anything, that gives them more freedom to come up with a great plan. Yeah. I make it just over 335 feet. This time we'll dig straight down 30 feet before we go horizontal. 30 Ooh. feet? Did you say the first tunnel? I did. There'll be three. Three tunnels? How many men do you plan to take out, Roger? 250. There'll be identification papers and documents for everyone. Damn, how are you gonna get that? Willie, you and Danny will be tunnel kings. Cedric, manufacturer. Griff, as I said, Taylor. Oh, Taylor? He's making them. Scrounger? Right. Eric, have you thought how you're gonna get rid of this dirt? Hadn't anticipated three tunnels, but we'll manage. Roger. <laughs> what are usual places for dirt? Imagine like a Shawshank. Like one pocket at a time. Like, fuck. <laughs> if Avro Ferret gets within 50 feet of any of the huts in which we're working, we can shut down without a sign. I mean, it sounds like a perfect plan. Bird watcher? Yes, that's right. I suppose you have bird watchers in the States. We have some. Where's your kit? The goons didn't appreciate some of my more personal items. Oh, I thought that was a gun, but what is it, a knife? <laughs> knife. Oh, Swiss Army knife. Such as? I need a camera. What kind? Good one. Camera? For his bird watching. Pick. Big heavy one. Only one. Two would be better. Two picks and a very nice camera and film. Close up! Close up! Don't be sprecking the English. Close up! Oh. Splendid. A new can of tea leaves? Or is that milk? Ah, uh, milk. <laughs> Blythe, what are you doing here? I'm the forger. Oh, forger for all their paperwork. Damn, everyone's got a roll. Yeah. I mean, the only thing I can think of is they're going to have to become friends with some of the guards to sneak this stuff in. I mean, they mentioned the Red Cross. Did they? Yeah, the, they said that they wouldn't get more tea until the Red Cross comes or oh. something. Obviously, the Russians came in. Right. Yeah, I know. You're right. There's a lot of opportunities. There's your steel. Keep fire burning always. This way the goons will not feel like moving it. Oh, because it's always hot? Big enough? It's perfect. Right through the middle of the foundation. 17. Good luck to us, Danny. How loud is this about to be? Yeah. Oh, there you go. Wow, perfection. Yes. Why 17? This is the 17th tunnel Danny started. 
Oh, this is going to take so long. <laughs> Once they're into the dirt, yeah. they'll probably... Be slightly faster? I don't yeah. know. It's good. So this is the next place over? The next tunnel? Yeah. That's loud. Oh, so this is the kitchen. Put on warm clothes, you might be outside all night. Tiny towel. <laughs> I didn't like how long that took to cover that up, though. I mean, they had everyone kind of blocking the door. Yes. Oh. Is he done? That was way earlier than 20 days. Yeah. His little count had 14. A blind spot. Then we dig straight down three feet. He digs in front, pushes the dirt behind him, and I stash it behind me. A couple of molds. Damn. When do you intend to try it? Oh, tonight. Wasting <laughs> no time. It's a blitz out for me. Forget it. It'll work. I know it will. Oh, I don't like this. Good luck. Okay. Maybe there'll be their guys on the outside? How do you breathe? Well, we got a steel rod with hinges on it, and we shove it up and make air holes as we go along. They're only three feet down. They only convince the goons that we must be tunneling. Oh, yeah. If it doesn't, those two are going to be in the cooler for an awful long time. Fuck. I don't think it worked. I wonder how long this time. Probably a lot longer than 14 days. Man, I thought Steve McQueen was going to be like our main character. <laughs> and I feel like he's just going to be in the cooler the whole movie. Oh! What? They found this one? Oh, no. Oh, it's the... This is from the tunnel. Different. Oh, no. So dark. The only thing left to do is camouflage it. Get rid of this tunnel dirt over the compound. Well, of course. What about, like, their gardening efforts? You fill these bags with the dirt from the tunnel. You wander out into the compound. Out come the pin. We'll try it first thing tomorrow. I huh. already have. It works. He's already been doing it. What about the color? Right? It's like... Oh, it is going to be the gardening, I think. Eventually, all of the dirt is just going to be dark, and they're going to, like, look at it like, wait a second. This is a present from Tomza. Oh, thank you, Nemo. Oh, thank you. <laughs> all right, let's look sharp. Oh, my gosh. Well, I think they're looking for tunnels. The English have always been very keen on gardening. Oh, yeah, it's about flowers. You can't eat flowers. Good point. Okay. Getting away with it so far. Biscuits, two packets. Coffee, two tins. Cigarettes, six packets. Damn. But the diggers can only work when the traps open, and this is holding us up very badly. Man, this is such an operation. Would it give us enough air? Quite as much as you need. Excellent. Damn. Yeah. Red sky at night, sailor's delight. Never heard that before. I learned it in the Boy Scouts. You were a Boy Scout? Mm -hmm. <laughs> My mom used to say that to me all the time. Really? So this is exactly where I'm sure it came from. <laughs> you think you'll stay in the army after the war? Oh, no. Why don't we go into my room where we can talk more comfortably, huh? Yeah, I'd better not. I was just going to make some coffee. Are they underneath them? The workers? Yeah. I don't think so. Is that not the fireplace they move? Uh, it could be. I don't know. I think he's just trying to become close enough friends so that he can start using this guy to bring stuff in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Here. Take one. I think this guy's my favorite so far. Yeah, me too. Is that for Lugas butter? Keep it. Nine. I must go. Oh. It's okay. You can keep it. We're friends. Please. What's your tea? I'm sorry. All right. I'm for... Forget it. Forget it. Did he take something? No. No, I think he, like, maybe stole something oh. off of him. Yep. Yeah, the paperwork. Man. Oh, I'm better thanks to do than draw birds. That's uh, just boring enough for the guards to be like, eh, fuck it, I'll leave. <laughs> I love them showing us all their codes. Travel permit. We've no idea what they look like. Uh, here's one. A no spice. Yeah. Permission <laughs> to be in Reich property. You get 10 out of 10 for this. <laughs> Died with a bottle of blue ink. Hmm, that's rather good. Wow. I've made these into rather nice little waistcoats. <laughs> oh, no way. 
We scrape this down until it's really smooth, and then dye it with boot polish. Oh, where did he get that? Well, I asked him that. What do you say? Don't ask. <laughs> Everyone is so good at what they do. I was just thinking how useless I would be. <laughs> They're out. Well, if you're here to find out if I'm going out again, I am. <laughs> hey, 7th of July. Dark of the moon. Correct. You know that Ives is close to cracking. Yeah, he looked like he was about to break. We have maps of Germany, general maps, that is. What we do not have is a clear idea of what's 500 yards beyond those trees. We want to know where we hit the main road. Okay. We've got to know how to get from here to the railway station. So he needs to break out and come back? How many are you taking out? 250. 250? Is that pretty much everyone? <laughs> we'll give you a front place in the tunnel. I wouldn't do that for my own mother. <laughs> yes, well, thanks, Hilt. He's going to feel guilty enough to do this. He lost his wallet. I must have lost them while I was in here. No. Yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll find them. I promise you I'll find them if I have to tear this room apart. Now he looks like the hero. There is one small favor. Yeah. A camera. <laughs> 35 millimeter with 2.8 lens and a plane shutter. Focal plane shutter. Let me know when you got it. <laughs> Man. Crazy mixed up kid, that Werner. But I like him. Checkmate. You cheated. Sitting there pumping air. Today, three times. Ah! Oh shit. Oh my god, I'd be so claustrophobic. You're gonna have to shroud the whole bloody tunnel, Roger. Four times today. Fourth time? We must have more wood. It's a lot of timber, Roger. I'll get it. I've gotta get it. Yeah. There's no other option. You can only strip so much wood. I feel like you're gonna need to like bring it in with the Russians or something. Stay with it. Oh, the bed? Yeah. Take out every other one? Yeah. All at once? You animal. I didn't think it was gonna fit through the door. Say oh, Cavendish. Holy birds, three French hens. LA, put fire! Oh! <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. He's gonna need some wood back. There's a present from our friend Werner. The camera? This should do very nicely. You guys might be taking. He requested permission to dispose of some of his dirt in our attic. That whole roof looks like it's coming down. Is he blowing it up? I don't know. Or is he measuring it? Oh, he's probably measuring it. I guess that makes sense. You need to see how far you go. Damn, they've made a lot of progress. So close. How much further to the trees? We make it 50 feet, sir. 50 feet away. We'll close down, Dick and Harry. Put the entire effort into Tom and press right on into the trees. Okay, giving up on two tunnels. What are you doing with all these potatoes? Are they making vodka? <coughs> Whoa. Right? Vodka's from potatoes? I don't know. <laughs> this is definitely something to trade with the guards. <laughs> Yeah, you want a taste? Look <coughs> at all those cups. What plan is this? Celebrating the revolution. It's the 4th of July. <laughs> oh. So they made some alcohol for a party? Which is hilarious considering it's a bunch of British. Most of these people are British. <laughs> it's the 4th of July, a little present from the colonial. Down the British. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Take it. 
Down the British. Up the rebels. Down the British. Gentlemen, if you care to follow us. They always keep their spirits up. Yeah. So they said the 17th is when they were going to try again? I think so, yeah. Suppose it'll do us all good to let off a bit of steam. There's only 14 feet to go, sir. I'm... Hopefully they don't make a mistake if everyone's drunk. Moonshine. American moonshine. Moonshine. Oh, okay. Moonshine from potatoes. Down American moonshine. Don't smoke right after you drink. <laughs> Explode. No taxation without representation. <laughs> That's the most extraordinary stuff I've ever tasted. Wow. Well, with uh, your permission, sir, I think I'll all and kive and colonize. Already drunk. To the colonies. <laughs> <laughs> it's good stuff, Hills. Thank you, sir. <laughs> uh oh. Hopefully that's hot enough that they don't touch it. Don't fall through the bed. Goons in the window fight. Well, we'd have to ignore it if we pay any attention to the goons right now. They had some important. Fuck. Please don't notice anything. Anyway, I'm glad we've got you in the tunnel with us, Piglet. Oh, man, I'm stressing. I'll be walking down our Guile Street in a couple of weeks, man. Or nearly at the trees, eh? This is too happy. I think Ives needs this pep talk. <gasps> Fuck. Not this guy. Be cool. Outfit. No, you son of a bitch. This is this eyes on. Is this the main one too? This is the main one. And they gave up on the other ones, I think. Oh my god, they found Tom. Fuck. I don't think he can take this. Oh, he's gonna cross the wire. Someone stop him. Oh! Let me know the exact information you need. I'm going out tonight. Yeah, he's gotta do this for Ives now. Open up, Harry. Around the clock. Fuck, oh, that sucked so much. I know. Got out. Ooh. So they're back to a different tunnel now? Yeah, one of the other tunnels. I'm sure they already had progress on it. Yeah. Oh. Oh, he's back. Cooler. Right. <laughs> I didn't think they'd catch him so soon. He wasn't caught. Yeah, right? He definitely came back. Welcome home. Surprised they let him keep his ball. No. Are you all right, Danny? Yes. All right. God, it's gotta be so scary. It's already such a small space. Uh oh, you're losing your vision. I can't see a bloody thing. You just went blind all of a sudden. I'll hit them. This is their practice? Your job is very good. Oh, thanks, Mac. I've put in a lot of... Gotcha. I like the old escape suit. Fine, fine. How do you like mine? Oh, it looks splendid. It's not wearing it. What's the matter with you? I'm going out through that fence. What are you doing, man? I can't go in that tunnel anymore, so I'm going out through the wire. Oh, dude, come on. We need you. Since I was a boy, I hate and feared little rooms. Damn, he was already claustrophobic? So I do now. Don't let him! I'll look after you. I'll stick with you all the way. All right. I want first of all to say that without you, we would not have been ready. What's the matter, Roger? You can't go. Yeah, you're blind. Because you can't see your hand in front of your face. You'd be caught before you got 10 yards. Man, this sucks for this guy. See the foot of the door? Yes, of course. Put the pin down there, will you? Oh, no. Man, all he wanted to do was watch birds and take pictures. It's too risky for you. Don't you think that's Colin's decision? No, I don't. I have some ideas of her own. Like to your family and children? That's right. Yeah, get out of Germany. Colin's not a blind man as long as he's with me. 
Yes. I knew you were my favorite. <laughs> I'll arrange for your escape numbers to be altered accordingly. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's taking a huge risk taking Colin, but that's awesome. Yeah, they can't really go until he's out. Yeah, they need his information. We're ready for you, Hilts. I thought they'd never let you up. Me too. <laughs> Martin's waiting for you. I'll be there. Can't believe it's happening. I feel like they need something to go over their fancy clothes. That's what I was thinking. Like, I was wondering if they were going to, like, bring them. Like, strip and put them on or something. Yeah, but it looks like most of them are wearing them. But the Only eight minutes now, Danny. God, eight minutes? Danny, you got this. I'm so nervous. Yeah, they still have to sneak, like, 250 guys into, into that this. bunk. Yeah. Oh, they have the lights. Man, they set up lights down here? It's time, Roger. Oh, man. It's going to take a lot of time to get 250 people out. I can't wait till it's over. I was getting... Danny! Danny, what are you doing? Is it Danny? What's the matter? I built it. I was buried many times. I go when I want. Let me out. Danny! You can take another place in the line. It's all right. Help, Zaya. That took a lot of time for one person. It's going to take hours. Oh, hopefully there's no Nazis standing right there. That is Ooh, not that far. Yeah. I thought they were supposed to be on the trees. They must have measured it wrong. You're 20 feet short of the woods. The hole is right here in the open. The guard is between us and the lights. Fuck, do you wait to build another 20 feet or you just fuck it and go? Like everybody's ready. All the documents are dated today. It's now or never. Oh my oh. god. I think I can make it to the woods, set up a signal. What about the goon towers? That's a chance you're going to have to take, but they're going to be watching the compound, not the woods. True. Yeah, they're watching inside, not out. Be very quiet. 30 feet of rope. They want that far. How the devil should I know? Get their rope. 30 feet of rope. <sighs> so he'll tug on the rope every time it's safe for one person to come? I think so. You go first, eh? I'm staying here till we get moving. Yeah, I feel like people need to start giving directions. Down, down the, the line. line. See you in Piccadilly. Go! Run! <laughs> Credits. <laughs> Alright. Okay, now we're moving. At least a lot of them are in pretty dark clothing. That's true. Danny, they're moving through the tunnel now. They're getting out. Your tunnel did it, Danny. If you don't go through that tunnel, everything you've done will have been for nothing. Come on, Danny. Colin, you better walk the right way. Are they going to send both of them up at the same time, you think, or just one? I think probably only one. You won't get this thing through. Oh, Cope! I wish he was home with his kangaroos. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why is there an alarm? It's an air raid. An air raid? This might help? Oh no, not Danny's gonna, he's gonna panic. Keep pulling him. It's an air raid, search lights are on, come on. This might speed things up, but someone fucking pull Danny out of the tunnel. Danny, Danny, it's all right. Hey, there's the lights. Go. Danny, you're giving me a heart attack. There you go, Danny. You're outside, man. Uh-oh. I don't hear any more. Yeah, there's no more bombs and stuff. You need it. Okay. Oh, lights are on. Fuck, they only got four people out during that air raid or six? I feel like they need a swap at some point because it's got to get tiring. Uh-oh. Why is he just standing there? Roger, you and I better get out of here. We won't have a chance of any of the trains. I'll be right behind you. Is it another air raid or something? I feel like I hear planes. Did you give the instructions to someone? Is there a month? 
Oh, flashlight? Is he right at his feet? I think so. No. Hey, the truth! I'm coming back! Are you freaking kidding me? You impatient piece of shit. Oh. I can't believe it that that guy just left. All because Roger left so that there was no one communicating clear instructions and that guy just fucking went. How many did he say? 76. 76. 76. I mean, that's a lot of people. 76 people got out? I thought it was like 12. They're gonna be on the lookout now. I feel like everyone's gonna get caught again. Half the guys who missed their trains are piled up in the station. Makes quite a group. See? And that's SS. I feel like this is so risky. Just steal a bike. Oh, well, he was prepared. Those wire cutters or whatever have <laughs> very much come in handy. <laughs> it's pop up out of nowhere. Is he gonna take out a motorcycle? Okay, I thought the guy was gonna get like obliterated by the wire. <laughs> I like seeing how everyone got away. Yeah. That's the motherfucker who fell. Don't be too suspicious. You're a pacifist. Tally home. Yeah, I think you gotta jump off this train. Roger might be screwed. Merci. Merci bien. Merci. Okay. Danke. Danke. Oh my gosh, stressed him out every single yeah. time. Yeah, stressed him out too. <laughs> so I guess the ones who are staying on the train are the ones who can actually have a convincing accent. I'll tell you what. I'd prefer you just to give me a good firm push. <laughs> that works. Soft-ish. Like nothing ever happened. Wow. Is that the same train he would have been on? Didn't see the number. Hey! Come on here. Oh fuck, there's a lot of people here. Hey, huh? <laughs> He's like, I don't speak German. What, does he just need to get to the border? Do they stop? Or will they go into Switzerland? I don't think they'll go into Switzerland. Oh no, I think it's a different train. Cargo. Yeah. Okay. Going a different way. Rip that off, get to Switzerland. Don't be so suspicious, man. Fuck it. Oh, are you gonna sacrifice yourself? Damn. I was hoping everyone was gonna <laughs> keep getting out. I mean, he totally saved them though. Oh, fuck. This is not looking good for a lot of them. I wanted to get home. I don't think you'll ever see your wife and children again. Ah, uh, this guy's in a lot of trouble. Hello, Haynes. Wish I could say I was happy to see you again. Damn, a lot of them are not being successful. I mean, with how many times they escaped and got caught and escaped and got caught, I should have anticipated most of them getting caught. And I mean, we've seen like a handful of them and technically if 76 escaped. Right. Yeah, it's going to be a problem. Are you a pilot? He is, right? I assume so. I think almost all of them were pilots. Nice. It's an interesting takedown. When the engine catches don't move, you got a mouthful of propeller. <laughs> they gotta move fast. Once this starts, everyone's running to him. How's he gonna get on? Oh, fuck. Come on, Colin, move. Woo, 
in the air. Next stop, Switzerland. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm glad this thing still has gas in it. The Alps. Splendid. <laughs> it's like I can't see him, man. Uh-oh. Great, you grabbed the one shitty plane. Oh, he already landed. Oh, fuck. Get out. I get away from this crash site. Oh, no. Oh, can you see the little blurs? Oh. I'm late. Call in. I'm sorry I fouled things up. Thank you for getting me out. This is rough. I don't know why I expected way more happy endings for these guys. Fuck. Is there a ramp anywhere? What the? Hundreds of soldiers? I thought he was gonna drive right through it. <laughs> yeah, go up, go up. Yes. You need a big one for this. Oh, jeez. Damn, that was pretty much everyone except for Roger and the other guy that was with him. Who got like saved. Who's that? Who's behind that newspaper? Yeah. Oh, this guy made it. I thought he was uh, locked up. So they're in France, I assume? But it's Sounds like it, still yeah. Still occupied by Germany? Oui, monsieur, téléphone. Téléphone, vous allez ici, Paris. Telephone. Whoa, what? Just a drive by? Oh, they saved him. And damn, these French guys. Uh, the deep moi. If you can speak English, I understand. <laughs> I'm a British officer. I've just escaped from a prisoner of war camp. I'm trying to make my way into Spain now. I know someone who can. Damn, those French guys just fucking <laughs> took out those Nazis. They always look out of place. Oh, the petite fée is only called Superior. How much French do you know? Good luck. Thank you. No! Fell for it. Just need to get inside somewhere. They lost their paperwork, though, I think. But they have a car chasing them. Oh, no. You're done for. How'd you get on the roof? You are English. So you be throwing me me down a pistol? Wait a minute. Until you go. Okay. I don't know what he said, but he was probably like, English? How dare you? I'm not English. Is he the last man standing? I think so. And he doesn't have his papers. Herr Bartlett? Who's behind him? Your drum is good. And I hear also your French. Up. Wow. This uh, great escape. They all got caught. This is the two guys from the very beginning, I think. Oh, we are together again. You are going to wish you had never put us to so much trouble. I think you did a damn good job. Uh-oh. We're all going in different directions. You can get out now. Search your legs for five minutes. It'll take hours before you reach the camp. Yeah, what camp are they going to? I'm tunneling. Tom and Harry kept me alive. You know, Max... <laughs> Fuck. Uh, no more escaping. I had a really bad feeling that's what was gonna happen. Yeah. 50 of your officers were shot while escaping. 50 of them killed. If you ask the names of the dead. How many of the 50 were wounded? None of them, they're all dead. 50 men were, I see. These two are still on the boat? Holy shit. <laughs> I forgot about them. Stockholm? Rode their way all the way to Sweden? No, Switzerland? 
Sweden. Sweden. <laughs> I think Stockholm's in Sweden. So 50 killed, 11 returning, that's 61, and 76 escaped. That means 15 are still out there. You see? Oui, monsieur. So you see. Alors, au revoir. Made it to Spain. Or to someone that's going to take him to Spain. I am your guide, senor. España. Roger's idea was to get back at the enemy the hardest way he could. I think he did exactly that. Yeah, they were scrambling hard. He is not to be saluted. He's no longer in command. Oh no. Damn, is this guy dead? Is he let 76 escape? Yeah. <laughs> Cooler? Straight there. <laughs> hey, help! <laughs> Thank you, sir. Go play with my ball for 20 days. Can't break his spirit. Whoa, that's where it's ending? James Gardner, Henley, the scrounger. Hilts, the cooler king. <laughs> All right, that was the great escape. What'd you think? That was fantastic. Yeah, I love that. That was great. I'm so bummed. Yeah, it's great. I loved it. And I know it's based on a true story. So I assume that's exactly what happened because it's dedicated to the 50 people. But that sucked. I don't know why, I, you know, the name of the movie is The Great Escape. I'm just assuming you're going to have some fantastic escape and a yeah. bunch of people are going to get out. A few people did, but most people died. And what's the ending for everyone else who still was at that uh, camp or the prison? Yeah, I think as soon as it went downhill during the actual escape, it never recovered. <laughs> we no. just went downhill from there. And there was like little glimpses of hope that they were going to get out, uh, that everyone was going to escape. They were all doing their thing, using their papers, going according to plan and yeah, there were a ton of moments of like hope. I mean, even like our favorite guy and like the blind guy. I'm struggling with all of the names already. Henley. Henley and, and Colin, I think. Collins. You know, they got a freaking plane. Like they were like 20 minutes flight away from Switzerland or Roger and the other guy, how they were on the train and, you know, they were passing inspection after inspection and stuff. Like, I don't know. It just seems super hopeful, but no, it all came crashing down pretty much. Yeah, and the fact that like 50 men, like out of 76, that's wild. And it was horrible. I mean, there was a lot of different ways that this was all happening and like the escape, but especially at the end there, just watching them just like be separated from everyone. Yeah, it definitely seemed like something was off and suspicious. Yeah. Especially because they were in the control of the Gustavo and the SS. Mm -hmm. They weren't getting another chance to no. escape. No. The earlier parts of the film, a very interesting, I guess, in the very beginning, we were both like confused by how relaxed everything felt. Yeah, it seemed way too nice for what you would anticipate a camp or prison to be in Germany. Yeah, um, it was very interesting because we learned that all of these men had either successfully and then got caught or unsuccessfully tried to escape from numerous different prisons. Right. So for the fact that it was so relaxed when they went in, it was like, what's going on? I think for myself personally that I underestimated the Germans and how much they were really paying attention and looking around and everything. I thought like, holy cow, these guys are so good. Like everyone was so good at everything they did. I thought, oh, this is gonna be a breeze. Like they're gonna be able to dig these tunnels, successfully get 250 people out of there. Like it just seemed to be going so well. Yeah, the movie really made you feel like everything was going to be fine. Yeah. Uh, because it was amazing. I mean, that's some of my favorite moments of this movie is just the coordinated efforts. I mean, even going over the, the attire with like the tailor was fascinating. Yeah. You have like the, uh, Collins doing the bird story that's so boring that the guards leave and then they turn it into a class to do all the documentation. Yeah. How they would dig and, and assemble machinery like to pump air into the tunnels to build carts and where they were pulling wood from. Like every single step of the way, it was so fascinating, so exciting yeah. to see them come up with this amazing plan 
I definitely had a lot more faith and God, that was so shitty when, you know, the freaking guy just wouldn't wait and pops his head out and ruins it for everyone. Yeah, it was hard to tell, like, did he know he was supposed to wait? Cause he seemed like he was getting impatient and I wasn't sure if he was waiting on the rope to like jiggle or if he didn't know like what the plan was, if he thought someone was gonna like call for him or something. Right, I assume he knows the plan, but maybe he really didn't because that's pretty much the moment that Roger left. Yeah, I assumed that he did know and he just got impatient and jumped up, but giving him the benefit of the doubt, maybe he really didn't know just because everybody was like moving on out at that point. But, oh, that was so frustrating because it was going so well. Like the yeah. fact that they were 20 feet short of the woods was absolutely terrifying. And it was like, oh my God, like this is all for nothing. Right. And then to hear the papers are only good for that day, it was like, oh. We're going him. for it. Yeah. So how they were able to improvise and, and get things going. I think that's what the movie did so well. It, it like really gave you the confidence. And then even when things were at a low point, it would snap you right back into like, okay, we can get through this. We can do this. Like yeah. the stress and pressure of like Danny panicking in the tunnels. I mean like, oh my God, man, please keep going. And then he would yeah. go out and you'd be like, fuck no. And then, you know, he'd get the courage to go back. It's like, the movie just kept putting you in this cycle of like suspense. I mean, there's so many moments that like I forget. I mean, like their original tunnel, when that was spoiled, that was devastating, but like immediately, bang, right back into action. Yeah, and it was that guard with the chocolate and the wallet. I know, what a bitch. <laughs> I mean, he was doing his job in this, nah. but it was so frustrating to see, like, I'm like, oh, you snitch. Like, <laughs> I felt like they built a connection with I, Henley. <laughs> I know, right? I thought he was, I thought he was cool like that, but no, he fucking snitched on him. And that was so sad. I mean, they did a great job with um, Ives, right? Yeah, Ives, obviously I had a soft spot in my heart for Ives little Scottish a little Scottish man, man. <laughs> but yeah that was devastating I mean you're watching him deteriorate like he's not doing well and it was so nice that there was like such like a sense of like friendship and camaraderie and just looking out for each other amongst all the prisoners so I mean everybody wanted him to make it like they were like hey like we're so close but the second that it came out that they had found that tunnel. It was just all too much for him. And I mean, you knew, I mean, again, this movie was fantastic. So they set everything up perfectly. When he was just walking by himself, you knew what he was doing. You knew where he was walking. It was like a train wreck that you knew was coming that you just couldn't really stop. I mean, Hiltz tried to save him, Yeah, just was a little too late. So that was a devastating moment, but it was also a turning point for Hiltz to freaking escape, get all the information that they needed and, and come back. Yeah, that was wild. I mean, obviously it was like instrumental in making sure that everything went smooth, but for him to really step up and do that was crazy. Yeah, I mean, every single person in there had such an important role. I mean, obviously you had some of the main characters that you followed, but I mean, everyone, the people who were keeping guard, yeah. the people who were making all the stuff, the freaking singers, the gardeners, <laughs> like how they were handling all of the dirt. I mean, it was just so intricate and fascinating and how they were all able to collaborate and work in secret while being supposedly at like the most guarded prison that they could possibly do for all of these like magician escape artist. Yeah. Little things like the dirt. I had mentioned that it just reminded me of Shawshank, which yeah. obviously this is long before Shawshank, <laughs> but just little things like that and them thinking everything through. Um, so that's, I think why it became such like heartbreak when things just started to go so poorly because everything was going so great and they had thought of everything and everyone played their part and their role perfectly. And even though Colin, like he lost his vision very quickly, he was still able to see up close and finish his work. And then Henley like took him under his wing, like all of these little things that were happening were still being kind of overshadowed by the good. So once things started going downhill, it was just like, ugh. Yeah, I feel like we shouldn't have thought like that because again, like all of these people have either failed or succeeded, but then got caught again. Yeah. So it's like, why would you necessarily assume it's gonna go, it's gonna go perfect. perfect? And also I feel like the beginning of the movie is a very 
clever moment where they get in there and within like five minutes, they're already trying to escape. And there's a couple of them where you're like, holy shit, they're gonna get out of here. Yeah. Like the Russian, pretending to be Russians, yeah. hiding in the trucks. And they knew the whole time. Like they are just like, okay, you guys played around long enough. Like get out of the trucks. We know you guys aren't Russian. So it's like, they were capable of watching them. Yeah, they were smart enough to nearly get like a third or something of the people out. But there was always that threat that they were going to be just relentless with their pursuit of getting them all back. And I mean, they were. I was definitely not anticipating like the last 50 minutes of this movie, like watching a half a dozen different people get tracked down. Yeah, and just brutal chase scenes, obviously the shootings, plane crashes, like it was just thing after thing. Yeah, jumping out of trains. And I mean, I never would have guessed that, what, three people that we saw saw get away. It was Danny and his friend, which mm -hmm. Danny was awesome. It was great to see him get out. Yeah. But they freaking rolled their way out of Germany in a little rowboat. Yeah. And then the other guy that got away was riding a bicycle yeah. all the way to France or something. Yeah. They picked like the toughest routes <laughs> to get out of there, but I guess it was like the most inconspicuous. I guess so. Like, yeah, no one would anticipate some guy bicycling his way to freedom. Yeah. I had such a great time with this movie. It was just so clever. There were so many characters that I liked. I think sometimes with like these older movies, they're also tend to be very long, like um, Lawrence of Arabia or something. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'm like, oh, this is a long run time. It's an older movie. Like I'm really hopeful that I'm going to enjoy it. And they end up being some of my favorite movies. Yeah. Like I love Lawrence of Arabia and this was so great. It had my attention from minute one all the way to the very end. Yeah, I mean, there there really wasn't like a minute of downtime no. in this. You're going, you're either developing the story or it's like go, go, go in terms of their plan to escape or after the fact in the aftermath, like it was nonstop. Yeah, I mean, you're constantly in it. You're, you know, falling in love with characters. You have highs and lows. I mean, we didn't even know, like Danny is the tunnel guy and he's built 17 tunnels. And it's not until way late into the movie where you find out that he's claustrophobic and it just changes how you see everything the entire time. Like when he wasn't digging and the one guy had stuff fall on him, he like immediately sprung into action. And now thinking about that scene, I'm like, he must've been so afraid for that other guy. Yeah. Like when the tunnel collapsed on him, everyone else was just like, Danny, are you okay down there? No one really had that sense of urgency like Danny did. But then once you learn out the truth, you're like, that makes sense. Yeah. So this was spectacular. And I totally see why this is such a highly regarded movie. Yeah, no, I mean, this was fantastic. It's something that I would definitely want to watch again. Everyone was fantastic. The actors, everything. Obviously, the fact this is based off a true story is like so wild, but fantastic film. I would love to know more about this story, like what happened to the rest of the prisoners and stuff. and maybe what the movie changed versus the reality and stuff, because this was such an interesting story. And I also want to know what that Henley actor guy has been in, because he was great. I would yeah. love to see more movies with him. Yeah, no, he was great. He was a favorite for sure. Had such a great time. Yeah. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction for this, as well as everything else that you've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on any other types of social media, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, Peace, everyone. Bye. Bye.